Hey there, so I wanted to record a lesson on a particular topic uh, which a lot of students in the course have brought up um, and that is to uh, basically automatically generate UML diagrams. So basically you write your classes, your Java classes, and then be able to convert that automatically into a UML diagram. So I decided to record um, this lecture. Uh, it's going to be a short one. I'll just sort of go, to, go through a tutorial with you on how to do that. And there's a great tool called Object Aid and uh, you can install this as a plugin in your Eclipse. So let me show you how to do that. If you go to Eclipse here, go to um, the Help menu, and there is a link here for installing new software. So click on that. And here we want to type in a particular site. So let's go back to the Object Aid site, and if you go to the installation section uh, right here, there will be instructions on what to type there. So let's go down here. Um, there is this URL that they provide. So copy that and paste that into this, all right? And then if you uh, expand this, we want to select this object aid class diagram. Click on that. And there are other kinds of um, components to this, such as a sequence diagram, which requires a license, and then there's some other add-ons, which we don't need to worry about right now. This is really the thing you want to download is object aid class diagram. Okay, so I selected that, and then you hit next. And now what we can do is just click on that, hit next, and I accept the terms. Make sure you read through that, and then just hit finish. And here you can just hit OK. And now it's installing the software. This will take less than a minute, and it's already done, actually. Uh, so it's saying you'll need to re restart your Eclipse for these changes to take effect. So let's do that. Now Eclipse is restarting. And now we're back up and running in Eclipse. So let's convert a few of our classes into uh, UML diagram. So there's this, for, for example, a previous project that we worked on for the factory method pattern. If I open that, and uh, these are all the classes that I basically want to represent uh, in a diagram. So what we can do is right click on the project and select new and go to other. And down here, it's already basically opened up here. Um, it's called object aid UML diagram. So click on this and hit next and we want to give this diagram a name so we can say factory diagram for example and then hit finish you don't have to mess around with any of these other settings feel free to play with them on your own if you like so hit finish and now we have a an empty diagram here all right it basically this is a file so I can close this file and I can open this file and I can copy all of these classes all right and I can just put them into here, just like that. And notice that it sort of generates this diagram for us, which is really cool. Now, if you're studying this course, uh, I would recommend you actually go ahead and uh, draw diagrams out yourself on a piece of paper or use some kind of diagramming tool uh, rather than using this automated utility. But for those of you that have already completed this course, uh, I think this is a, a great tool to have in terms of studying new code bases that you may find at work or in, in projects that you uh, participate in. So let me close that for now. I'm not going to save any of these changes. Let's do another example. So here, um, let me try to pick one that, okay, so I have a couple of, okay, so let's try this accounting example with the report generator uh, for the interface segregation um, principle. So I'm going to right click here and go to other select the class diagram again and notice that it selected that folder automatically now i can name this as interface um, diagram whatever and hit finish and we have an empty diagram i'm just going to copy all of these classes into here and notice voila what a what a cool tool so give that a try um, and I'd recommend, again, that you actually try to draw these diagrams out yourself uh, before you use a tool like this. All right, thanks for watching.